Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up text message conversion tracking. So whether or not you have a button on your website like this one where you can actually tell people, hey, you can send me a text message, I'm going to show you how to track that as a conversion in Google Ads. So the way to get started with this is the very first thing you need to do is install Google Tag Manager on your website. So obviously, you need your Google Ads account. I'm assuming you already have that if you're watching this video, but you need a Google Tag Manager account because that's what we're going to be using to actually track every time somebody clicks on our text message button. So you can see I'm in here, my Google Tag Manager account for aquablisscare.com. That is the website I'm going to be using as this example. And if we come over over and we go to the admin section, you need to make sure that you install Google Tag Manager on your website. So the way that I generally do that is with the plugin WP Code. So if you search WP Code, you'll see it right here. It has a blue logo WP Code. Once it is installed on the left hand side, it's and this one's called code snippets, but it'll also say code snippets on the left hand side. But that is the WP Code plugin. So we go to code snippets, we go to header and footer. And then we go to our Google Tag Manager and we go to the admin section and then install Google Tag Manager. They'll also tell you how to install this as soon as you create your Tag Manager account. So you copy this piece of code and this piece of code. This one goes as high as possible underneath the opening header tag. This one goes immediately after the opening body tag. So I've already installed both of these. So if we come over to my website here and we are on the header and footer, you can see Google Tag Manager, very first piece of code here, and then Google Tag Manager right in the body section. So all you need to do is pay those two pieces of code there click on save changes and now we have google tag manager ready to go on our website and we can use this to track conversions in google ads so the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure you set up the conversion linker tag through google ads that is what is actually going to track help track the conversions through google tag manager so this basically links your google ads account with your google tag manager account we click on new tag click on tag configuration this is a very easy one to set up Google Ads, conversion linker, and then name the tag, and then just set for the conversion linker to trigger on all pages. So that's all you need to do for this, save, and that's it. So I already have that one there. You can see conversion linker, the firing trigger is all pages, submit it, and now we have that one added first. That is a must to make sure we can track our Google Ads conversions. The next thing that we're gonna do is, first you wanna make sure you have your button set up on your website. So I came to the back end of my website, I have Elementor open here. So if we come to the back end of my website, and this is just on my thank you page, you could put this text message button wherever you want on your website and track it. But if you would click on the button, you can see right here, it is a default button. Text, you can see the text that we have on there. So basically our fake phone number and we have a little icon. And then here's the important part is the link. So the link, it, and what you need to do is set it up as SMS, and then we have a colon here, and then a plus, and then just put the entire phone number there. So that is all you need to do for that button. Now I added an initial part here with an ampersand, so end sign, and then body equals. And if you do a message, you can actually type out a message and just put percentage 20 in between every single part of your message, and it will create spaces. And then when somebody actually clicks this button, it automatically populates. So the way I set this up is it says, hi, percentage 20, I, and obviously that's between every word, hi, I need pool cleaning services. So you can set up a really long message and then if you see that message, the reason why I like doing that is you can basically have an idea of like, okay, this person's texting me. They're most likely going to be, they clicked on this button directly for my website because it pre-populates exactly the message that I want them to send. And there's also ways you can do this where you set up different buttons on your Google ads landing pages to basically say, okay, I know this came from Google ads because the message is the message I set up for that landing page. Kind of helps with your tracking, but it is a little bit more to set up. So you can always just get set up and say, hi, I'm interested in and pool maintenance services, I'm interested in whatever service that you have there. You could also just set it up without that portion and just get rid of this and then just do the SMS. So either way works. So once you have that button set up, the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure you create that conversion action in Google Ads. So you can see right now I have one set up already here. Obviously we're gonna set this up a second time. So we click on create conversion action. And then what you wanna do is choose a website conversion. We can enter our website domain here. I'm kinda of gonna skip this. Okay, so click enter website domain, click on the scan button, and then, then we scroll down and we're gonna add a conversion action manually down here. For the goal category for this, I like to use lead categories, so not purchase. So there's some sales categories at the top, but usually I like to use lead categories. They don't have anything specific for a text message, so I'll just do contact. And then make sure it is a primary action used for bidding optimization. Enter our conversion name, so we'll just do text message example one. We can use the same value for each conversion, set it as one, use different values for different conversions. Generally, I'll use the same value for this and just set it to one. 
keep scrolling down. Only count one because we want to just count one text message per per person that actually sends it. If somebody sends us 10 messages, I don't want it to count as 10 conversions. Click through conversion window. You can make this as long as you want. Generally, you're not going to find a very long conversion window with text messages. That is more for B2B where people are contacting, submitting long forms or things like that. But why not make it longer and give ourselves credit for every single text message, even if somebody sends it month later. Data-driven attribution, enhanced conversions managed through the Google tag. So now we are all ready to go. Click on save and continue. Okay, now we need to add our tags and we're we're going to use Google Tag Manager to do this. So we installed Google Tag Manager. Now we have a conversion ID and then a conversion label down here. So I always copy this and just come back over to Google Tag Manager and we are going to create a new tag. And under tag configuration, we're going to select Google ads and we're going to do Google ads conversion tracking. And we're going to set up our conversion ID here and we're going to come back over and get our conversion label. So get your label down here at the bottom. A quick 30 second promotion. If you like my content, I have a Google ads course available, 21 lessons over 10 hours for $34.99. You can access it by going to surfsideppc.com slash course. That will give you all the information you need to run successful Google ads campaigns. If you're interested in learning how to drive more leads for your business, join Surfside Inbound. It's $4.99 a month. It's available on Patreon. It's available through my YouTube membership and you'll get access to all of my premium content, including a five and a half hour inbound marketing course. Thank you and let's get back to the video and we are going to copy that one there and now we will do text message example one same thing we named it in google ads it doesn't have to be the same name it just helps it helps me kind of know which which conversion maps to which which tag in google tag manager and then we need to choose a trigger you can see i already have one here so sms just links where the click url contains sms so when you click on the plus sign trigger configuration here clicks and you could do all elements or just links, but if we do just links here, we'll do some link clicks where the click URL contains SMS. So the same thing we set up. So we'll do SMS example, click on save. Okay, we have that there. Click on save again, and now we wanna submit this. So we submit our, and I'll just do new version. You could do a, a version name and description, but I'm just gonna do that one for now. Added, added text message conversion tracking for Google ads. So whatever you wanna name it. And then we want to come back over to our workspace and now we're going to preview this. So I'm just going to grab my URL, this page where I know the button is, and we're going to click on preview, enter that URL and go into Google Tag Assistant. Okay, so we go into Google Tag Assistant. You can see the tags that have been fired, desktop phone calls, thank you page, since we're on the thank you page, the Google Analytics 4 event thank you page, our Google Analytics 4 tag, our conversion linker, this one you want to make sure is firing there. And then if we come over and we go to our tag assistant here, so we're in our page and we just click on the text message button. I'm just going to click on it one time. Okay. So now it clearly registered something. We come back over here. You're going to see text message example one. So now that counts that as a conversion. The one issue you may have is if people are clicking this on a desktop device. So if you want to take this a step further, you can actually make sure this only counts when people click on a mobile device. So the way to do that, and we will exit out of our tag assistant here and come back into tag manager. And when we're back into tag manager, we're going to go over to our variables and scroll all the way to the bottom and create a user defined variable. We're going to name it screen resolution. Now this isn't perfect, so it's not something I generally do, but if it's something you really want, then you can do custom JavaScript here and enter this right here. So it's a function. And basically what it's looking at is whether or not the screen type is mobile, tablet, or desktop. Okay. So that's the way the screen resolution works. So we click on this, we click on, make sure I did this correctly. Okay. Yep. We did it correctly. We have our screen resolution here as our user defined variable. So we come back over to our tags and we go to our Google ads text message here. Here. Let's do the one we did. So our example, SMS example, and you can see click URL fires on contains SMS. And then you can actually do another one. And from the drop down, you're going to see screen resolution. And from the here, you're just going to do equals mobile. Okay. So you click on save. And now this will not track as a conversion when I click it with my, since I'm on a desktop device, it's not going to actually track this as a conversion, or at least it shouldn't. So we're going to do new version again, and we'll test this one more time. Now it's going to show it's not working, but it will still work on our mobile devices. And that's one of those things you may just want to test. Truthfully, I don't use the screen resolution often just because I'd rather, I'd rather somebody, you know, clicks it by accident accident. I don't see that being a huge issue that I deal with. So let's preview this one more time and see if we 
set this up correctly. Okay, so we'll come over here first. You can see that we are connected and our text message, neither of our text message have actually worked yet. So let's come back over to our, not our tag manager. Let's come over to our page and now let's click on the text message button again. So it clearly registered something. And now you're gonna see that it did not register our text message example one down here. So it did register this Google Ads conversion. So that's because that one doesn't have the screen resolution. So this did exactly what we wanted to do. It measured the one that doesn't have the screen resolution variable. It did not measure the example one where we did put the screen resolution variable. So if you want to make sure you're only tracking for mobile devices, then use that screen resolution variable. So then from here, your conversion is all ready to go. It is firing. We can see that it's firing. So just go to your campaign and you just want to make sure that your campaign, and if we come down over here, we go to our campaign settings. We want to make sure our campaign is is optimizing for this conversion. So we know the conversion's working. The last thing that we need to do is just make sure that that is one of the conversions we're optimizing for. You can see text message example one, the one that we just created. Obviously, I don't wanna set this one up twice, but wanted to use it for the example. So created the text message conversion. We I showed you how to actually set up a, a message already in there when somebody clicks on your button, how to track it only from mobile devices and it was working for us. So if you have any issues with this, please leave them in the comment section, but this is how to track a text message conversion through Google ads without using any third party tools. Thank you for watching. If you want access to all of my long form tutorials and some of my courses that I've created that I'm only putting out on Surfside Inbound, you can join my Patreon, patreon.com slash Surfside Inbound. It is only $4.99 per month. You can also join through my YouTube channel. So through the Surfside PPC YouTube channel from any of my videos, if you click on join, you will get instant access to all of my premium content, including my inbound marketing course, which is five and a half hours long. I just published it to Patreon and YouTube. So join today if you're interested in more of my content at patreon.com slash Surfside Inbound or by clicking the join button on any of my YouTube videos. Thanks for watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe.